now we are going to begin by initializing a new project i'm going to open my commander and i already created a folder called ui designs the one you can see on my screen i'm going to uh paste this down then it's going to create a file for us but i, I, I think i'll terminate that I don't, I don't want to use that name so i have to remove this folder now i have to bring bring that back uh, change it to UI1 UI1 now when this is done I'm going to come back and then we continue so this is done now just some couple of seconds So finally it's done. We have to switch to the folder. We call the UI1. I'm going to hit Ctrl L to clear that. Now there are some couple dependencies that we need. Uh, first off, we need native base, and second, we need uh, React Native Router flaws, and thirdly, we need React Navigation's uh, dependencies. So I'm going to head over to React Navigation website. Uh, over here, you can see this website, ReactNavigation.org. I'm going to copy exactly what you see here just not don't add this even if you use this no problem but just copy exactly this for precaution's sake and come back paste it go to home the way you can paste it is just right click on your mouse then type down npm install the save flag then hit enter uh, once this is done installing we install native base and react router flux because we are going to need react router flux for our navigations so i'm going to install uh, native base and also react router flux add the safe flag and hit enter Uh, I think the React Native is React Native Router Flux, not React Router Flux. So let me check that again. Yes, React Native Router Flux. So I think uh, npm install uh, safe flag React Native Router Flux. So don't use this. This this is very incorrect. It's not going to waste time. Now applica our application is ready, but let's kind of run this application to see whether it's going to start uh, now. So let's just kind of run it and see what's going to happen. So our metro bundler will just flash and it dies off. Now the way you can fix that is to head over to my channel, uh, search for React Native uh, Metro Bundler Problem Solve. You are going to see the solution. And likewise for this one, uh, the way we can fix it is very simple. Let this finish, then we can I can show you how we can do that because it's not going to stay on our application. It's going to give us an error, even if it's it's running the application, it's going to come up with an error. So now you can see that everything just got terminated and our application came up with an error. Let's open our Visual Studio code there. Just type down code. Now come over to your Android app source main folder. I'm going to be fast. If you want to know about this, you just have to go over to my channel, then you can fix that. Uh, come over to here. Then I'm going to go over to blacklist.js. Then over there, I'm just going to copy this. Save that. And lastly, I'm going to uh, take this and paste it there and allow it to finish.
what this actually is doing is to generate a bundle file for us so that we can able to be sorry we can be able to bundle our application and run the application on our android emulator and also if you find it difficult to use your android emulator you can watch also one of my videos it shows you how you can set up your android emulator in order to work effectively with your applications and that is it now when we run this again it's going to run but before we do that we have to install something uh, we have to install native base npm install save native base i think i did mistake in the first place i wrote down native uh, forgive me for that uh, one more last thing we need to install is React Native Router icons. Sorry, React Native Vector icons, not router icons. So just come over to the GitHub, uh, search for React Native Vector icons, install this. So I'm going to paste that and install it. Then once it's done installing, just come over here, copy this, and. Uh, Go to Android app build, Android app and build file. So once this is done, of which is done, now we can close this Android app. Uh, let me check that again. Then Android app build file. Come down. You have to paste that. So that is it. And one one more thing is to create a, a file over here because we need some fonts. If you check on our UI over here, we are going to be using some fonts. For this one is Google. This one is Quick Sand. Uh, this one is Google Sand. So the way we can use the fonts is to come over to the project directory. I'm going to create a file. So the name of the file I'm going to create is called React Native Config. Uh, let me check the name React. Or React, React config, React native config. Now I will download my font and put inside my font folder. Then I will use whatever I want to do. But here we're going to type down module dot export. We have to export this project. It's for iOS. It's for Android. Then down beneath it, sorry, over here we can put comma. Then for our assets, we want it's going to come from a folder called source font folder. So that's where we are going to be putting our font files. Now, the way you can get your font files, let's say for example, I'm going to download. Uh, download poppins. Yes download poppins font family so I'm going to head over to Google to download poppins font family I'm going to select the font hit download I'm going to say ok open it then select all the fonts except for this I'm going to uh, come over to Android right React Native, UI Designs, UI1. Uh, let me first of all create folder called fonts. Put them over there. Then open our uh, uh, Visual Studio Code. Our uh, sorry, I didn't create the source folder initially. Then I'm, I will just drag this inside and move it. Now. For us to link this uh, font, uh, we need to run some common React Native links. But let me show you where the font will come to. It's going to come to our Android app, source main assets. It's going to come over here. So let's kind of run that to see React Native link. Now, as you can see, we have a folder called fonts, and inside there, it's exactly the fonts we are talking about. Even the the React Native Vector icons came up together. Now we have to apply the uh, font we will be using. For me, I want to use Font Awesome, so I'm going to come over here, Android app, then uh, build, come down here, 
uh, sorry I didn't bring this inside I, I copied exactly this I don't know why it didn't show oh sorry Simon here I didn't check so I'm going to bring in fonts awesome so save that uh, one more last thing is to download uh, Google uh, what's the name of the font again it's called Google Sans font so I'm going to pause this video once I'm done downloading the file and extracting it I will continue now I'm done I'm done with downloading the fonts I'm just going to type back react native link open our visual studio code and as you can see inside here I have Google Sans so that is how you can use uh, fonts on your Android application then if you want to make use of it you have to say font family then the name of the file now let's uh one more last thing is to uh think i configured everything initially let me check my app source main folder assets okay i bundled everything now we can run the app react native run android So let's kind of wait and see what will happen. So I had to uninstall the previous app then and now run it again. So we never had an error. Now as you can see the landing page of a, a simple real native application. So I'm going to minimize all this, close all these. Now we are done with setting up the uh our app for everything now I'm going to stop this video on one on our next video we can continue with the design and with every other thing setting up the router likewise also connecting it with Redux if needed but I don't think we need Redux and also we can now uh, check how we can use our designs from our UI design to our application so thank you for watching I will suggest that you subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a like button to make sure that you appreciate this thank you very much